Hello, my friends, David Kessler here, and welcome back to the studio. Let's talk today about discipline equals freedom. Uh, I was watching a musician that I follow on YouTube, and she brought up this topic, discipline equals freedom, and she said she got it from a fellow named Jocko Willink, who is a military veteran, He's a, an author and a podcaster. So if you want to look up Jocko Willink on uh, YouTube, there's a lot of videos, podcast videos, and that sort of thing. And one of the things he talks about is this idea of discipline equals freedom. And as I begin to think about it, I thought this is really, really, really the life and the story of a professional artist. Is this idea of discipline and how that makes professional artists heads and tails above uh, those that are amateur painters. And here, here's a few things in my mind that make professional artists uh, ways that they have discipline that a lot of other people don't. And this is what makes them successful. And I've talked about some of this before. Uh, so here's a few examples. You know, they use discipline to create a consistent body of work. And when you do that, it's easier to sell your work. It looks more professional. It's easier to get into galleries. It's easier to get into shows. Um, also, they have a, 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 a systematic sort of a studio process that leads them to be able to create more consistent work. But it takes discipline to have this studio process. You know, it takes discipline when you're doing a painting not to throw in every single color that you have on your, on your table on your work area or every tube of paint that you own. It takes discipline to have, you know, a color theory and a color system that you use to choose the colors. Uh, it takes discipline to have a specific system that you use. It takes discipline to forge your own path. It takes discipline to stay on that path and not get distracted by fads and gimmicks and tools and all these other things. It takes discipline to have blinders on to move forward on that path. It takes discipline to create new work on a regular basis. It takes discipline to do what I do uh, with regard to creating content on a weekly basis that I've done for, you know, three and a half plus years now. You know, it's a video and a blog post and an email to uh, students and collectors once a week. You know, it takes discipline to do that, <laughs> an enormous amount of time. But I do it to help you, and hopefully what we, meaning me, talk about here, hopefully it does help you. But, you know, we've talked about the discipline, but what is it about this freedom thing? The freedom comes from simplified decision-making. For instance, you know, I have, I do what I do. Like most professional artists, I have a path and I do what I do. I do it pretty well. And I do it, you know, better than a lot of people. And that's what professional artists do. You know, they have a path, they're doing a thing, and they're successful at it. Um, but when you're on that path, and you have the one thing, and the one process, and the one, uh, kind of work that you create there's freedom in that because you're not distracted i'm not distracted by every little fad that comes along i'm not distracted by all of these other things that i don't need to use in my studio you know amateur artists you know they're distracted by so many things because they don't have the discipline to stay the course they don't know what they want to do they haven't decided what they want to do and that's natural. You have to get to a point where you experiment with stuff and you've determined that, you know, I don't want to do this, I don't want to do this, but I do want to do this. And then you move forward with that. So simplified decision making is huge when you don't have to worry about, okay, when I come to the studio, what am I going to paint today? I already know the direction of my work. I don't have to worry about everything. You know, one of the things I learned in architecture was it's easier to make decisions when you're given parameters to work within. For instance, I loved, loved, loved doing renovation work. Additions and renovations because 
you have a, a prescribed set of parameters. You have an existing building lot, you know, site. You have an existing building. You have building codes with, and that tells you what you can and can't do with that building. You have the requirements of the owner that you have to work those things within the parameters of the site, the existing building and the building codes, right? So you have these parameters and it's, there's freedom in that because you don't have to worry about, well, gosh, I can do 10,000 things. What am I going to do? You really can't, right? Because so there's freedom and there's simplified decision making as opposed to having a brand new site and a brand new building and you can do just about anything again within the parameters of you know building code and what the owner wants but the re renovation projects were so so satisfying because you're working within a, a set of parameters and, and some people think this is crazy talk what i'm talking about because they've never experienced it before they don't understand that when you can't do everything your focus is on what you can do and there's tremendous freedom in that tremendous freedom in that All right so if you want to adopt this sort of a philosophy that discipline equals freedom it will completely change the way you look at creating artwork and it will simplify everything that you do and I guarantee you it will make you more successful so think about it make a plan right Get some discipline into what it is that you do and enjoy the freedom that comes with that discipline and you will be more successful than you ever dreamed. I guarantee it, right? If you want to join me for a workshop somewhere across the country, there's a link in the description of below uh, to check out the, work, the workshops that I've gone on for this year, 2020. Um, if you like the video, our other videos that I've done and this one please subscribe to the channel I would appreciate that and I hope to see you at a workshop soon or if not I'll see you on the next video thanks